Melissa and Aaron here for True Stream Media. Hey, everybody. So, we need to file this one under more proof that we do not need to be poisoned with petroleum-based Azo coal tar artificial color dyes. Check this out. This is a Nestle It's Gadoozy. And we stopped at a gas station on a road trip, and my son brought this to me. Please, Mom, please, Mom, want this. And I looked at this and went, oh, my gosh, this looks like a frightful horror fest of carnival of just... A neon nightmare. Artificial colors. There's no way I'm going to want to give this to him so he can have all kinds of weird freakouts and behavioral issues afterwards because he's totally sensitive to that stuff because it's synthetic dyes that are petroleum-based. They're unnatural, and they cause kids to have all kinds of behavior problems. I would say after seeing the studies, most kids are sensitive to that. Ben Feingold, his studies go back to the 70s, and then in about 2007, they had a breakthrough study in the UK that led to it being banned in the UK and EU, and they did a double-blind general population study and found that kids of several different age ranges all basically went hyperactive when they were given these artificial color ingredients and things like sodium benzoate. So check this out. So he brings this to us. And naturally we flip over the ingredients. We're waiting for red number 40 and blue number 1 and 2 and yellow 5 and 6 and every color you can think of, right? But check out these ingredients. And mind you, sugar is not good for you, but at least it's a known substance. And yeah, it might come from GMO sugar beets, but beet juice concentrate color, natural flavors, guar gum, carabine gum, turmeric extract color, ascorbic vitamin C. And yes, I know natural flavors can also be a hidden cloak. This normally would have had red 40, blue 2, blue 1, I mean, yellow 5 or 6, or maybe all of them. Instead, they're using actual turmeric and beets for the coloring. They use real food for coloring, and they could do this, and they have done this. They do this in Europe and other countries where the artificial colors are banned because of their known harm their propensity to cause cancer, and especially ADHD symptoms and hyperactivity in children. And now, Nestle's putting out neon nightmare-colored popsicles that look like they would probably have artificial colors, but they don't. So yeah. how about that? Open it's it. Show not it high fructose corn syrup either. And look at this thing. It looks like it should have tons of artificial colors in it. That, the, this proof here just shows if they can do it with this which looks like it should have all kinds of stuff in there. If they can do it with this, they can do it with everything. They just don't. They have to put their petroleum dyes somewhere, their byproducts somewhere, and so they're choosing to cheaply put it in, their, in your food. Instead of giving you something like this, which I know, I mean, sugar and everything else, but at least it's not filled with a bunch of synthetic crap. 